Google Earth is helpful for determining vertical curve information. So what we've done here is we started with a line on a roadway, and we did this with the Create Path tool in Google Earth. And we right click and can see the elevation profile, and that's what we currently see at the bottom of the screen here. And so we can see we've got a crest vertical curve here. And what we're gonna do is look at how we can extract some of this information from this from Google Earth to build our parabolic equation for this vertical curve. So two very important things we need to start with are the grades. So we can look at the entrance grade here, so G1, and we can highlight where this occurs in Google Earth, and it's gonna tell us some important information for the entrance grade. The important thing we need here is the slope, so it's an average slope of 3.5%. So that is gonna be our G1. Our exit grade, G2, occurs over here. And so we're gonna find a, an average slope of negative 2.7. So that's gonna be our G2, 2.7. And then we need to next find the length. That's another important parameter for our parabolic equation. So we're gonna need to find exactly where the curve starts and ends. So I think it starts somewhere here where we leave that tangent and start to curve. And then we're going to end the curve somewhere right in here where we return to the tangent. So we're going to find a curve with a length of 1134 feet. which is equal to 11.34 stations. And then another important point we need is the elevation of the PVC. So we can see that here, we're gonna have a PVC elevation of 415 feet. And a couple other things would be nice to check so we can use our parabolic equation to confirm that our Google Earth data matches up well with this. And another thing just to look at on Google Earth, whatever we highlight in our graph also becomes highlighted on our map. So it's nice to see that relationship between where we're highlighting and what's actually occurring on the ground. So back to our maximum elevation, we can see that here, 425 feet is our maximum. And that occurs somewhere in the area of, on this entire segment, 2,484 feet, we need to subtract our PVC location from that to find out exactly where that occurs. So we're gonna take 2,482 and we'll subtract off our beginning point, which is right around 1,888. And that's going to tell us our distance from the PVC. And again, we'll check that when, we, when we're doing our evaluation of our parabolic equation. Another thing we can check is the PVT elevation. And that occurs, and that happens at an elevation of 420 feet for our PVT. So we're going to take this information. We got our G1 of 3.5%, G2 of negative 2.7%. We have a PVC elevation of 415 feet. We have an overall length of 1134, which is 11.34 stations. We're gonna put this into our parabolic equation and create our equation for this vertical curve. So a quick refresher on vertical curves. We've got our entrance grade G1 that we talked about, exit grade G2. We've got the PVC where the curvature begins, the PVT where the curvature ends. And again, PVC is point of vertical curvature, PVT is point of vertical tangency. And our equation, our, our basic parabolic equation is y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. And we'll see how we, we're gonna take those pieces from Google Earth and use them to build our specific parabolic equation for the curve that we examined. So starting with our 
par basic parabolic equation, we're going to start to define each of the components. So A is equal to G2 minus G1 over 2 times L. So that is negative 2.7 minus 3.5 divided by 2 times 11.34. So our A is negative 0.2734. And again, we measured our entrance grade G1 was 3.5%. We need to put that in, in, in terms of a percent, not in terms of a decimal. And our G2 was negative 2.7. The length was 11.34 stations. So we've got to make sure we put that in in terms of stations, which is equivalent to 1,134 feet. B is simply G1, so that's 3.5. And C is our PVC elevation, and we measured that directly in Google Earth as 415 feet. So customizing that parabolic equation for our particular curve, we have Y equals negative 0.2734 X squared plus 3.5 X plus 415. So the first thing let's do with that parabolic equation, let's check that PVT elevation. And we measured that as 420 feet in Google Earth. So the very end of our of our vertical curve, which is equal, the x value we're going to use is equal to the full length, which is 11.34 stations. So we're going to take our equation that we developed, our parabolic equation that's specific to this curve. We're going to plug in that x of 11.34, which is equal to the full l or the full length of the curve. And when we work that math out, we're going to find a Y, an elevation of 419.5 feet. And again, we measured that in Google Earth as 420 feet in elevation. You know, I think that's a, a good check. Uh, Google Earth only gives us whole foot increments. We weren't being necessarily the most precise when we were doing our measurements and everything in Google Earth. So I feel pretty comfortable that that, that works out and that Google Earth is a, a good good measurement tool for this. This Google Earth isn't design software so this wouldn't be what we'd use for actually designing the road but it's going to give us a good idea of what the design of this vertical curve is we can also check the high point location and elevation from google earth we got this information as 425 feet for the elevation and the location was 5.94 stations from the pvc so 594 feet from the pvc is where the high point will occur. We can use our equation to find the location of the high point. Based on the parabolic equation, we can take the derivative, setting the slope equal to zero, and this is the equation that results from that. x equals negative g1 times l divided by g2 minus g1. We're going to plug in our variables. So x equals negative 3.5 times 11.34 divided by negative 2.7 minus 3.5 will give us an x value of 6.4. So based on parabolic equation, the high point occurs 6.4 stations from the PVC. I'll give this kind of a passing score. It's less than 10% difference from the value that we found in Google Earth. Again, Google Earth, we weren't trying to be 100% precise, but I still think this gives us close enough in the ballpark that we can have confidence that using the information from Google Earth can replicate uh, the design that we see on this roadway. We can also find the elevation of the high point using our parabolic equation. So we're going to take our parabolic equation, we're going to plug in the x that we calculated for the high point of 6.4 stations, and we're going to find a high point elevation for the parabolic equation that we use for this curve of 426.2 feet. Comparing that to 425 feet, I think is a good approximation. Google Earth only gives us those whole foot increments. So 426.2 is pretty close to that 425. So again, Google Earth is a pretty good approximation, a pretty good tool to use for building and developing this parabolic equation and having some confidence that the values that we get from that parabolic equation are representative of the actual conditions.